All right, guys, this video was going to be on the Karambit. I know it is a fan favorite. And going through the comments of our previous Karambit videos, I see it a whole bunch of people ask, why do you flip the Karambit? And it is not for style. It is not because we have this ring that we just want it to look cool and give us an excuse to swing this blade around. There are a few reasons that are applicable and we're doing it in a functional form. So with my partner, James, Essentially, one of the main reasons why we flip the Karambit is to give us another angle of attack. Now, the severity of the strike will be determined based off of the amount of momentum I put into it. It can be determined by if the blade is both single edge or double edge, which means it's sharp on one side or both sides. And it can also depend on the weight of the blade. So, for instance, if I'm in a reference point here, I clear that down and essentially, if it was a legal karambit in most countries, or rather states, it will be sharp only on the inside. So what that tells me is I only have one direction of cutting, and it's gonna to be towards this right side, it looks like a left, but the right side of James. So rather than going here, when I flip the karambit, now the sharp area is on the left side of James, or the right side of mine. And that'll give me this extra ability to cut on the left hand, maybe cut on the neck, more severe ascent of going just in this one angle, right? So as I set this up, I use this to create another scenario, maybe hooking, controlling, maybe it simply is just a cut, and I can always return back into my grip because of the ring. So. That is essentially one of the main reasons why you do it. You could do it in different scenarios. If I get to the other side, using everything the same way, instead of going this way, I can flip and go on this side and use that. One of the other main reasons that we flip the karambit is, as you can see when I flip it out, I can open and close my grip, and that way I can solidify the position instead of just letting it roll around as such. And so from a advanced grip or a pakal grip, when I flip it over, you can see that the range has pretty much doubled in what I can do. Now essentially this will make the most sense if this karambit was double edged, so it was sharp on the inside and the out. But from this position here, I can't reach anything. I'm gonna most likely have to be close range. When I can flick it out, I can use that to stretch out and cover that much more space. So as I'm over here, I can increase the range by flicking it out, solidifying the position, and going for my slashes. When I want to go back to my punctures or my stabs, I can return back to my regular grip very, very quickly. Okay, so yes, there are tricking aspects in Karambit. There's a whole culture of it, and I got nothing against it. If that is your thing, it is actually very difficult to do, and to make something out of it in an art perspective, more power to you guys. But there is also a functional side to flipping the karambit. It is a not just for show, it's not just for uh, artistic purposes. There is a functional form to flipping the karambit. At the very least, we're not just going to use the ring to help us with our grip. right? We're going to use that to augment or amplify our offensive techniques to make the most out of a karambit. Again, whether it, it's single-edged or it's double-edged. So I hope that cleared that up for you guys. Continue your Karambit training. Make sure you train with us if you guys are not close by to the gym by checking out FMA Concepts, our online teaching site. Make sure you check the links below in the description box. There's our Instagram, there's our Facebook. Support your union fam. And until next time, catch you guys then.